Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to run crystal plasticity on microstructures that are created by Nepper. To do that, I will just go to the website, to our website, go to crystal plasticity and download the latest version of our code and extract. Um, yeah, and here we've got the folders, and here we have a folder called Nepper to Abacus. So I will get this and I put it to the computer that I have. Um, Abacus, I already have it, so I, I put it here as a new one. And um, so uh, everything starts with creating the microstructure using Nepper, and in the former video, I show how to do that. So it creates um, uh, several sets of files, but what I'm going to use is just the msh file. So I'll take that msh file and um, I will erase these guys and put it here. Now um, I will open MATLAB and I'm going to show you what this uh, MATLAB is doing just to show that function. So the function enters the file name, uh, the material ID we want to use, and the number of um, dependent state variables. So what I'm going to use here is, um, uh, uh, and the other thing is it reads this exile file where we can enter our properties here, but I don't want to enter the properties here. I want to read them from the user materials.f, which I explained in the former video. So I set this value to zero. So it won't do anything. Just setting it to zero will work. Um, so I'm going to call this function. Um, I will use this tet, and I will use material number two. Oh, yeah. We have to set the path first correctly. And there you go. It creates these. Um, IMP file. So this is my input abacus input file. Then in the step three, now I'm in step three. Step number three, abacus. Okay, and I'll put the input file here. First thing to do is to set our working directory. And then I will read in import the uh, IMP file, which is a rather coarse, but um, it's just for testing purposes, it's fine. So um, here we have this um, Nepper input, we have the grains and we have 30 grains here set. Um, and we have the depth bar set, the number of state variables set to 12, and other angles, um, grain ID, grain number one, grain number one, and the phase ID or the material ID is two. So it will read from user materials.f uh, from number two. So, um, but it's, its boundary conditions are not set. Um, so what I'm going to do is just set the boundary conditions first. Okay, and um, I will do this here and set uh, this surfaces, fix these surfaces along X, and fix normal to Y direction, the surface normal to the Y direction, along Y direction, and normal to Z along Z direction, so, so that I get a uniaxial state. And uh, I will just apply a displacement during loading, uh, let's say along X direction. Um, let's put 1% strain and let's check also the dimension of this. Uh, um, Nepper uses uh, unit RVE size by default, but you can change it. So the size of this is one, if I, if I set this Boundary condition to 0.01, it's the 1% strain. Okay, um, then we create the job. All right, and we put the, it's not a must, but I usually use the same directory as a 
scratch directory. And okay, we have to put the umat files. So I will go back and take the latest version. Please use the latest version. It's um, it's a it's a code that is under development, so we always do some corrections. Um, so put them in the same folder location, and then uh, enter umat.f here. Now there's a couple of things that I need to check. Um, so let's check the mesh. First, um, let's determine. Um, so the number of elements are three thousand and um, sixty-two. So here um, we used to read the IMP file and get the element type and the number from there. But in some systems, we realize it's not working well. So what we are doing is we are right now entering these manually. So um, by default, it's set to one thousand number of elements. It's um, 3,862, and um, we have the element type. Um, set as the tetrahedral element um, C3D4. So what we have to do is just our element type C3D4. I correct this. Uh, that should be it. Um, now let's try to run this. Um, so the loading is done uh, 10 seconds. Let's increase this to 100 seconds to um, reduce the strain rate. And I will save this before we run. Save it as Abacus Tetrahedral model and then submit. Um, okay. So um, it just make sure this is this is consistent with what you have, and um, the number of dependent state variables are actually the outputs. They are defined in user outputs dot f, as a as we show in the former video, um, and here one of them is defined as here, and um, so that are, there should be twelve outputs at least, so that it doesn't give an error message. And the other thing is the user materials f where we enter our material properties which is 2 in our case uh, which is uh, specified here um, user material 2 and um, so it will go ahead and read the properties from uh, user material 2 which is a custom FCC material uh, the slip rate is slip low is the power low, and these are constants. Some constants some sometimes work well, sometimes do not work well. So uh, it needs to be you can set them. So it's doing uh, some things here. Um, we have set the maximum time limit to one, so it's not going over one. Maybe we should have done we shouldn't have done that. Anyway, so it's it's kind of working. So here let's look at um, results. So these are the stress results and. Um, I think that's it. Um, so I'm not going to wait until the end of this. So if you have any questions or if you have anything, um, you could, or if you find anything in the code, you could raise an issue uh, in the GitHub page. And thank you so much.